Uh, hello, this is uh, Deacon Chris. Um, I was planning to uh, share uh, another poem uh, this week for my newsletter and uh, on YouTube, but uh, I just wrote something, something brand new, and I feel sort of excited about it. It feels fresh, feels like a little gift. If I gave it a few more days, uh, I'd probably realize, oh, it's not very good. I'll realize, you know, what's wrong with it. Um, you know, start interrogating it the way we do. But maybe that's part of the point, that we have these intuitions, and then, you know, a few days later, we think, no, that was stupid. Um, so at the risk of making a fool out of myself, here's the little poem. It's just a little poem, a summer poem, based on a recent experience I had. The Smiling Man. A hundred years ago, the smiling man in the wheelchair wore the same white gown his great-grandson is wearing now, as I get ready to baptize him. I'm not sure what we're doing here, except that it's beautiful. A summer morning, a breeze moves in the leaves of the tree. It's too slight to sway the wind chimes. Um, Robert Frost said that poems begin, have I said this before, uh, with a lump in the throat? Or sometimes, I, you know, for me it's goosebumps. And uh, that's when I start to write a poem. And, and I usually get that kind of goosebumpy feeling or that lump in my throat when uh, I see connections between at least two things. So that's what happened here. Um, I, I just thought, oh, there it is. And I wasn't quite sure what the connection was, except it was intuitive. So again, I don't want to analyze this too much, but the poem, it is too fresh, but um, the, the poem is in two parts. I had this experience the other day of baptizing the great-grandson of a hundred-year-old man. And a lot of the family was there, and it was just this wonderful experience. Um, so it, it would have been possible to write about that and to honor that, which would be a wonderful thing to do. But uh, then this morning, so I was kind of holding that in my mind, but then this morning um, I was praying and I was... Actually, my mind was wandering. I was sitting there praying by watching how my mind wanders um, or suddenly becoming aware that my mind had been wandering. And I looked out the window at the maple tree in our backyard and there was a very slight breeze stirring in those leaves, just a little bit. And then we have a wind chime over here. And I noticed that the breeze was so slight it didn't move the wind chime. Uh, those heavy pipes in the wind chime. And, and I thought, oh, that's, that's it. Somehow those two things go together. And so I put them together. And the poem just came out, except for the last couple of lines. Um, I had to get the grammar of them right, and I'm not sure I have. Um, and, and I was afraid of what I was saying. You know, am I, am I saying um, something about God that isn't quite right? And, uh, and maybe it's really obvious what, what I'm saying uh, to you, and, and it will be obvious to me, but it's not now. And so I just, I, I don't want to um, push it. I don't want to over-explain it. Um, I don't exactly know what we're doing here, um, except that it's beautiful. <laughs>